dancing, but remember to memorize the memory verse. Let's, Let's get, get into it. it. Ezra was not just a man of letters, but a pillar of his community guiding the people of Israel in their spiritual and communal rebirth. His story is etched in the annals of the scriptures, particularly in the book of Ezra, where his journey and days are recounted with reverence. Just in, King Darius has given out a letter allowing Ezra and the team to rebuild back the temple. Oh, wow! Did you just hear that breaking news? That King Darius has given out a letter to give permission to Ezra and all the Israelites who are building the temple to continue with the work. Yay! They have won and all this was because Ezra went to God when he was facing that challenge. He went to God, he prayed, he seeked his wisdom and he wrote the letter and gained favor from King Darius because the hand of the Lord was upon Ezra. There are so many things to pick from this story in that when you're facing a challenge, maybe it's in school, you have exams and you don't know how you're going to pass your exams. Go to God, ask him for help and God will come through for you. And also from this lesson, we should learn that we can seek support when we are facing a challenge. Ezra was facing this big challenge and he seeked support from King Darius and King Darius came through for him. So in our personal lives, when we're in the classrooms, when at home, we can seek out for support from our teammates. Well, when we are having a project, we can seek help from people who love us, people who want to support us because they will support you. But most importantly, don't forget that Ezra went to God. When he faced that challenge, he went to God and God helped him out. Now it's time for Memory Verse. Psalms chapter 119 verse 162. It says, I rejoice in your word like one who discovers a great treasure. Friends, I hope that you've enjoyed the Memory Verse which comes from the book of Psalms. Hope that you've enjoyed and you will keep it in your memory and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat, it and repeat it until you get it and you can say it off head and now it's that special time where we give money for jesus ask anyone who's around you to help you in giving money for jesus and thank you so much for always remembering to give money for jesus now friends we've looked at the story of ezra from week one to now week three and we've seen how his character is so good we've seen how he is devoted to God's laws. We've seen how he's such a good leader and a prayerful person. And I hope that from today's lesson, where we've looked at how Ezra seeked support from King Darius, that we can also learn how to seek help from our teachers, our parents, our siblings, that we can also help others when they seek support from us, that we can help them. Well, this is that fun part where we pray. So let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for creating us in a community where we get to seek help and receive assistance in our day-to-day -day lives. 
This is truly a show of your love for us and care for us as you continue to mold us to be as you and to live in unity and in harmony with each other. Help us, God, to be of help in our homes, schools, and even in our church. Through Jesus Christ, amen. Hi guys, remember we are still learning how to say the grace in French, so let's pray. Que la grâce de notre Seigneur Jésus Christ, l'amour de notre Dieu et la communion du Saint-Esprit soient avec nous maintenant et à jamais. Amen. Now, what did I say? Let's say it in English. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. So, don't forget to be a help to others and also seek support from others. But most importantly, that we should pray and keep the law of God in our heart. Just like Ezra. See you next week. Bye.